country that a lot of countries are. Um, it's all for free. And, the, and, and then they started doing a thing a couple of years ago where he's like, I'm going to do a, a look back at the, at the 90s. So he would do every year. So every year he'd have a page like 1992. Here's 10 zip files with all the music from 1992. It's all free. Hmm. And you could download it. And, and so, and then he did the 80s. So there's shit loads of stuff that's awesome, totally for free. And so I would just like pull it down and listen to stuff that, oh my God, I haven't heard that forever. Or, hey, that's, a, that's an album I never had. And, uh, and I like that song. It's a good opportunity to, to find stuff that you wouldn't like, new country stuff, like you're mentioning, Nick, that I would normally like never listen to. Mm -hmm. I'll get a listen and sometimes I'm like, oh, I like that song. I'll keep that song. I'm more like old country, but. So am I. But uh, there's, there's a lot of bands that I've discovered through this site that I never would have thought to listen to. Yeah, and I think you and I talked about this before. Didn't, didn't you start um, like downloading it to like a drive mm -hmm. and, and saving so you have this this music? It's all in my library, and, my and, iTunes library. But don't you have it stored somewhere else as well? I thought you said that you did something where you like to have something that you could hold and you would start storing music on something else other than the cloud because you're like, well, oh. if something happens, then I've, I've got all these albums downloaded uh no I, th I i i trust the cloud enough now to the point where if i put it in the cloud i know it's going to encourage out there forever but i like i like the idea of buying like a an album like vi buying a vinyl album that comes with like a download card that gives me an mp3 that i could also put in the cloud or i could listen to wherever i want that's like the best of both worlds it's like but i'm i'm too old to really just kind of go I don't I appreciate having something that I can touch and see yeah we talked about that so I yeah so I will still buy like a 4k or a blu-ray of a movie that has a download code where I can get the digital copy because I, I like to have that physical um, you know copy that I can that I can put in a player and watch mm -hmm. I don't know if I'll ever be able to make that go away but there are certain you know parts of my life like the music in the cloud that you just kind of let go and you go all right I trust that I'm gonna just kind of let that like put in my pictures in the cloud that sort of stuff so uh so I'll end just by saying yep flux flux blog great free music blog give it a try uh if you're into that stuff it's it's absolutely worth it for all the free 80s and 90s and 2000s music alone so. has has that shelf gained toys it has I went to this, I went, yeah, Jack and I went to GameStop this week. Okay. <laughs> so I bought, I bought, uh, Bosk, sitting at the middle, one of the body hunters from the Pressure Strikes Back. Okay. I also bought, oh, this is a good, uh, so, I, I don't know if it's not really a segue, but, uh, Todd I don't see Bob, I just see a silhouette. <laughs> <laughs> Todd Dill and I used to work together, um, We've worked, either worked with each other uh, or like I've worked for him and, and with him since 2000 in, in different capacities. So he, he <laughs> we would have this conversation where you'd be like, man, I see you watching this Star Wars shit, but how come there's no black guys? And I'm like, Todd, there is. Lando Calrissian. Who? Lando Calrissian. I don't know. He's black. Star Wars. Yeah, but that's all you got. And I'm like, man, I'm sorry. I'm like, what about Mace Windu? All right, so there's two. And so this we would have this conversation would come up, and we would just be laughing about it, joking about it, and, and he's kind of like fake bitching about the fact that there's not not many black people represented in a, mo a, a movie series like Star Wars. So I would go out to the store, and I bought him a Lando Calrissian action figure. <laughs> And we were working in Massachusetts at the time, and I, and I went and I put it on his desk, and I stood him up and I put the gun in his hand and everything. Like, he was sitting here at his desk and was behind him. And uh, one day, he, he came over to my desk, and he's like, come here. <laughs> so he called me back his office. He's like, did you put that there? I go, yeah, two weeks ago. No, you didn't. Yeah, I did. You mean, that's been there for two weeks, and I haven't? I go, yeah, you haven't noticed it. He's <laughs> like, man... That's awesome. I've been showing everybody my Lando Calrissian action figure. <laughs> you know, like, VPs come in his office, he's like, did you see this? <laughs> Black guy represented in Star Wars. <laughs> so then I... <laughs> fight the power. Fight right. the power. No, I, I have the power. All right. So I got him a... So then I got him a, a 
the, the, when the prequels came out, I got him a, a, a Mace Window action figure, and I sent it to him, and he put it up right next to the Lando Carissa, and he took the picture and sent it back to me. He's like, I said, I'm talking about it. I'm showing everybody. <laughs> so, so is he going to get you, like, like, is, he, is there going to be a back and forth where he gets, like, some action figure made of like the one white guy Martin <laughs> in, in the show Martin like you know <laughs> the skater kid from Friday <laughs> yeah, right no this is a, this is this is this is a one way relationship You're like why did why did you give me this that's this is a one relationship I don't even watch the show I just, I just said it to him but he's a white guy <laughs> well so so then the new movies came out and I and I I bought him a Finn action figure from Friday <laughs> from The Force Awakens and I sent it to him. And he did the same thing. He's like, Man, you're the best, thank you. He took a picture, he sent it. And uh, I, I gotta say when we went to GameStop and I bought that figure right behind me, I, I bought another one for Todd. Hustle and flow. So I gotta I gotta put it in the mail. But it's little things like that. Like it, it's not a Police officer it's not a tit for tat relationship where I, I expect something back. But every once in a while, like, uh, have you seen uh, Predator? Yeah, I think a The original time ago. Schwarzenegger Predator? Yeah. Um, there's a character, his name is Dylan in Predator. So one day I saw the shirt in line, I'm like, that's it. So I bought it, and I shipped it to him, I didn't say a word. And it, it just says, Dylan, you son of a bitch. <laughs> right in the front, because that's what the character you says. You son of a bitch. And uh, he took a he had Mary, his wife, took a picture of him wearing the shirt. Like this, a big smile. And he sent it back to me. I'm like, it, it was worth it. It was totally worth it. <laughs> so sometimes you do that shit for your friend. But uh, yeah, Todd, I got a, I got a package coming your way this week. So, man, what, what I gotta get to the Todd Dillon friendship level with you? Are you shipping him gifts and everything all the time? I, how long have I been picking your ass up? I haven't got a gift. Well, <laughs> his so, present is your gift. Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> what the fuck? Well played, Dan. Right. right. Thank you. Did I ever tell you how I got I hired into EMC when I started in 2000? Who? EMC, the, the company where I used to work. No. I was working I was working at a... a <laughs> Jesus. Sorry. Oh, okay. I'm yawning. I, thought I you was know, trying to cover I, it. I didn't see the yawn. All I saw was go... I thought she was throwing up. I thought she was like, no. what did I just see or something? No. Crazy. I'm trying to cover my yawn. So I, I was working uh, as a like system administrator for an Oracle database company and I was making okay money but like uh, I was married at the time nice I knew that was I knew that was, I knew that was there for something <laughs> exhaling vape smoke through the microphone cover we should get some uh, mic flags too Shots so guess. Christy had uh, uh, had quit work to stay home with the kids uh, well, with the kid, my daughter was born, and she was, uh, I think, pregnant with Jack. And uh, so it was just me working, and uh, things were like tight. You know, you're used to like having a bunch of money, and you've bought a house, and you've got kids, and all this stuff, and you go down to one income. Mm -hmm. And uh, and then I and I got a call um, in the middle of the night, and because she was pregnant, she was used to getting calls because they have frat brothers who are like all over the country. They're in like Colorado, California, and. They're in different time zones, so it'd be like one in the morning, and they'd be like, the phone would ring, like, hey, what's going on? They call me from the bar, and <laughs> we're Who fucked is, up. What are you doing? Who is this? Anybody. There are tons of different. This is uh, Ingle would call me, Anton would call me. Brett? Yep. Um, Bishop would call me, uh, just fucked up out of their minds in the middle of the night. So she already knew what to expect. So the phone rang in the middle, and it was like one in the morning, and she's like, You tell that fucking asshole, don't ever call here again at this time of night. Yes, dear. I will. So I pick it up, and it's Dylan, and he's like, "Hey, um, sorry to bother you. What are you doing tomorrow night?" And I'm like, well, "Why?" He's like, "Well, uh, Fletcher, um, uh, another frat brother of mine um, uh, from Alma, had, was working at EMC. He just got promoted to a management position, and um, they're letting him pick his own team. And um, want to know if you're interested in coming over and talking about the job." And he was he was going to be in charge of the uh, backup and recovery um, practice. And I'm like, I don't know anything about backup and recovery. He's like, doesn't matter. Are you interested? And I'm like, Sh sure, I guess. What what's the pay? And he told me the pay. It was almost double what I was making. And I'm like, what? And that that 
late night phone call has happened from Todd with some uh, opportunity or another more than once. So if you're asking Nick Bader, what, what does it take to get on that level? Yeah, that's what it takes. Get him uh, change my great, life. Get him a great job. Yep, great job. Double my salary. All right, so maybe <laughs> I can expect some gifts. <laughs> oh, oh, he's looking at you. Oh, he's looking at Corey. All right. Are we talking salary doubling job here? No. Okay. Well, not. yeah. I, um, I guess. I guess no, fuck your gifts. I, I guess, <laughs> no gifts then. Yeah. There's uh, there's websites that do the 3D scans and do action figures out of actual people. So perhaps that, was, that might be a good one. That might be a good one. <laughs> to add to your collection. Uh, action figure movie. Wait, isn't that weird? <laughs> I've been, white I, guy I, from a I, black I, person I, movie. Oh, <laughs> Phil Anton is watching. Phil <laughs> Anton is now watching. Well. I'm sure he's not. I'm sure he's listening. Yeah. I'm not sure he's watching. There's nothing no. really to watch. Right, he's so I, researching a paper. Yeah. So Phil, so it, eating corn niblets. <laughs> right, corn niblets. <laughs> <laughs> right before Phil joined, yeah. uh, a very nice person I work with. Uh, yesterday, I I came through one of the doors at at work, and right as I I made eye contact with her, she looks at me and she just goes, "How do you know Todd Bonner?" Oh, the callback from last episode for this, uh, the the uh, paranormal yeah. investigations, right? Ooh. And I'm like, wow, what? How do I know him? I'm Who like, is this? It, it's uh, so, so, so someone I, I work with. Not okay. too issue. Well, anyone that watches the the feed on <laughs> who just joined, the, they'll know. Right. <laughs> okay. But I said, I'm like, so I I ask him like, well, how do you know Todd? She's like, well, I asked you first. I'm like, I asked you second. What, what are we? Oh, we went back and forth. We're turning out we? to be fifth quick grade. Come on. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I said, I said, uh, oh, I said, hey, you know, through the Detroit Paranormal Expeditions, he did the Eloise tour, yeah. the Michigan Fire Museum tour with us, and right. uh, he happens to be my uncle by marriage, is his other nephew. Right. So I said, you know, he's known the family for quite some time. You know, quite some time. Uncle Chad. She says, oh, okay. I said, well, how do you know him? I got stonewalled. <laughs> what? She's like, smoked weed. She wouldn't say. I'm like, but she brought it up. Yeah, I'm like, you can't just do that. Like, come on. You know what? If you want to make yourself dead to somebody, that's how you do it. I'd be like, well, hey, you're dead to me now. Well, so it, I'm like, I'm gonna message him right now. <laughs> I'm like, I, I got his number. He's gonna be on the podcast too. Sing right? Shit. We yeah. can ask him on the podcast. Yeah, I'll bring up your name. She, I'm not afraid. She wouldn't say anything, anything last night. Literally, she was walking out the door. I'm like, uh, hey, so and so. I'm like, just tell me. See, that's when you gotta just. To, if someone does that to you, that's when you have to go, I'm not interested anymore. Don't care. So have to kind of flush them out of their turtle shell. Was, was that like the episode of, of, of Seinfeld where the stab-worthy boyfriend, remember? Oh. Where, where the women kept coming up and she was like, you know, are you so-and-so, so-and-so? And they'd throw the water in his face or whatever <laughs> like that. And she's like, weren't you just stabbed by, you know, your ex-girlfriend? She's like, what makes someone stab-worthy? So it's like, I wonder if this is like a circumstance like that where... You know. Oh, Ooh. okay. Yeah. You might be out of something there. So, uh, I'm like, it, I feel like he already knows, though. He's just building up to it. We haven't gotten yeah, to it. So <laughs> yeah, exactly. Okay. I, I came up with several conclusions last night. I'm, so, uh, I threw one at her today at work, and she's like, no. I'm like, oh, okay. Well, that was the, that was probably like the best one I had. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, come on, seriously. I'm like, what? <laughs> she's like, oh, I just... Think he's hot, and I see him on Facebook. Ah. <laughs> oh. That's I'm like, seriously, bitch. Why would you? Okay. And I'm like, so I'm like, you just stalk him on Facebook, and you were excited that you knew someone that actually like, knew him. She's like, well, it, yeah. It wouldn't have been as weird if she just said it right away, but since she built it up so much, now it's real. Well, and, and I'm like, I'm like, yeah, she's creepy. She's like, yeah. she's like, I don't stalk him. She could have just like, been like, oh yeah, he's hot. Yeah. She's like, I've right away, no man. problem. But wait a whole day and build it up dun, like dun, that? Dun, 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 right. She's like, I've Not never, cool. she's like, I've never been on his page. I only see the stuff that comes across my news feed. I'm like, well, that's that's. Uh, you're still you're stalking. Still stalking. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I wasn't, wasn't accusing you of it. <laughs> but clearly, you have been on his page. So that's that's while she was while she was sitting there. Because she showed his me dog several... Alex. <laughs> <laughs> Who names their dog Alex? His favorite ice cream is uh, superhero or Superman. Neil Neil Paladin. <laughs> So, superhero. So, remind me that Neapolitan reminds me of something else. <laughs> remind me later and tell you. So she says, shows me two pictures. She's like, oh, see, these came up in my newsfeed. Yeah. I'm like, I, okay, I don't need to see. I, I know what he looks like. I don't need to see pictures of him. It's, it's cool. 
I mean, so, I don't know him that well. I'm not stalking him. And then I'm like, she's like, <laughs> she's like, oh, I'm like, you understand I have his number, right? And she's like, I don't know what that means. So I grabbed my phone. I, I don't like, know what that means. I was like, like a slow saxophone playing. So she's background. the worst stalker ever. Let me just say, <laughs> well, no, so, she does it stalking. She's not doing it right. So I grabbed my phone. And I was like, Todd, better watch out for so and so. Sorry. She is stalking you. Did she try to stop you? She's like, don't know. You're seriously. I'm like, oh. that's the first thing she did right in this whole story. <laughs> she's, like, she's excited. I'm like, I'm not real. You think I'm going to send him that? Send him the Jesus. correct spelling of her name so he can block her on Facebook. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it, <laughs> oh my God. Yeah, it was. Uh, it was pretty good. It, I, I got a good laugh out of it. Wow. <laughs> so he, uh, I don't know who this. is. This is a uh, Detroit paranormal guy. Yes. Detroit paranormal guy. I, I don't know who he is. So. No, we talked about him last episode. No, I know, but I don't. I still don't know who he is. So I know David of him. Todd. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Was he born in the eighties? Yeah, once again, you've crystallized our thoughts. Yeah. Know. But he's he's gonna be on. He's gonna be on the show. He wants yeah. to. Yeah. Hey man, uh, he's co-founder. Come on. And... Does he have a? Did, did he give you the dates or? Uh, he just said whenever we get when we get like three more dates out, um, let him know. And, oh, so uh, it's looking like some July or later? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what? Pearl Jam soccer jersey. <laughs> Phil's Phil, criticizing Phil, Phil, your attire. Phil said, is, is Bob wearing a soccer jersey? Mm-hmm. Corey answered the question. Yeah. My good old Pearl I'm Jam gonna, soccer jersey. So, uh, yeah. So just despite the uh, the naysaying from Phil Anton, I'm going I'm to give him a treat, and then I'll tell another Todd Dillon story. Um, Phil has left the room. Good. Fuck him. No. <laughs> uh, so this is what uh, Todd and I were at EMC. We're working together in uh, in the office in Livonia. Um, there was a guy who, I, I won't mention his name, but he <laughs> got hired in as, uh, as uh, they called him an engagement so he was the guy who was supposed to talk to the customers Don't and get them me. interested get beer. in the services for what we could do. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Well, are you kidding me? <laughs> what kind of a gentleman? Oh, dude. Yeah, you probably, right? <laughs> yep, he's taking the good chair. Stiff and Nick Vader with the, with the So I guess we're still in the bathroom from a go girl. Ahead. No, no, you better hurry up. I was going to give it to Danielle, but she's getting up to go to the bed, and that makes no sense. Yeah, because I'm always feeling it. Yeah, you can't, right? Yeah. <laughs> I my head you showed him. Son of a bitch. You son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Suck it, nigga. Good to hear that. Oh, yeah, that's salty language. So well, I really have that. to pee. I know. So... I can't believe he left you hanging. I know. He saw me take my headphones what off. Do do? All right, so... Uh, so John, <laughs> sorry to interrupt the story. No, it's okay. Okay. So, so this guy, this engagement manager, was supposed to go out to talk to customers and sell them on the on the idea of our, of buying our services to manage their project, to install their backup and recovery stuff. So this guy, we had to meet with him a couple of times, and he would develop these statements of work. So, as a you know, when a customer goes, "Yeah, I want to buy that stuff from you," and you're like, "Cool, I'll write up a statement of work, and and uh, you can review it and then." sign it if it if it uh, if it looks good so the statement of work is basically a contract it's supposed to say what we're supposed to do and how we're supposed to do it this guy st- started he start he he he, <laughs> he didn't know what he was doing the statements of work had to come back through Todd and I to You're a son of a bitch. clarify them <laughs> to make sure that they were accurate and Todd and I were reading these things in the back and I'm like this guy doesn't know what he's talking about. He doesn't know the software that he's selling. And he doesn't he doesn't know how like there's tons of stuff wrong with this. And I don't understand. So we would um, we would give these statements of work back to him and um, he'd be like, Oh, okay, great, thanks. And in the conversations that we would have when we gave it back to him, we would we found out gradually that in talking to the customers, he was basically just repeating whatever we said. And so Tom and I would get together in his office and he'd be like, this guy, he doesn't, he doesn't know what's going on. 
And he's basically just repeating whatever we said. He's like, we're going to do a test here. So we, he and I both agreed we were going to, we were going to come uh, up with, okay, yeah, yeah. I do remember, okay, yeah. We were going to come up with some, some garbage words that didn't mean anything and start sprinkling them in these statements of work. So he would give us the statements of work and we'd correct them and send them back to him. So, <laughs> so Todd came up with uh, this word, uh, the word is the catch a pan. That's fine, I do. <laughs> He put the word in there, and so if you use the word in a sense, it'd be like um, um, EMC professional services will um, arrive on site promptly, uh, install uh, install the software, and then um, manipulate the login files uh, to avoid any package pain. <laughs> so it's something where like it would get it, it would get back to this guy, and it would be just like you know, jargony enough where he wouldn't catch it and then he passed it on the customer and the customer would naturally be like uh here on page Excuse two me. what is this word he's like oh it's Bikachapan huh? and the customer like what do you mean Bikachapan he's like you know uh if you don't get the software installed right things you, get you, you, you can get a whole bunch of Bikachapan <laughs> And Todd and I laughed about that. We did that for probably six weeks. Jesus. And the best, uh, he, I, I give Todd credit for Pikachapan, but I take the credit for the one I came up with, which I'm still quite proud of, which was Abnatural. Abnatural. <laughs> so you could just do a combination of abnormal and unnatural, and I used un, I used Abnatural in probably six different statements of work that I passed back to him. And the, and the crown jewel was, and we knew it was working because... We all had to do like an all hands meeting, and this guy had to get up there and talk, and he and he actually used the word "abnatural" in his presentation. Are you serious? Yeah. Did he not know or no? He had no clue. He doesn't under, He didn't understand the products. He didn't know the technology. He didn't know any of those things. So we just, I'm like, let me let's see if let's see how, let, let's see how desperate he is. So I start putting "abnatural" and uh, start sprinkling it through the statements of work, and he just somehow kept on going with kept it kept on going with it <laughs> so you know, presenting they were like well you so uh, at the end of the day when we presented this customer um, we could have done it this way but we decided to do it uh, the way that we did it and you can see the results because other any other way would have been unnatural and people were like what the fuck my, my, my dad kind of had like a, a similar story where his uh, you know they're all big wig executives and and uh, his boss, so he's like VP of HR for a bank, and uh, his boss started leaving, uh, sending her voicemail. She, you know, hi, this is so and so, so and so. If you're trying to reach me today, uh, you know, please leave a message, blah, blah, blah. But for uh, Thursday through Sunday, I will be out of pocket at our, um, mm -hmm. I will be at our, at our, in our um, Ohio market, and, and da 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 da. And, and so my, my dad was telling us about it, and, and he started using it. I'm like, Dad, that doesn't make any sense. He's like, it's know, a phrase that people my, use. My boss says it all the time. I'm yeah. like, yeah, but no, it, it's that's not a real thing. And so he started, yeah. he started using it. <laughs> he was doing it just, just to be funny, you know. Right. He's like, yeah, we'll be, um, I'll be in our Grand Rapids market, and I'll be out of pocket for the next. <laughs> you know? He's like, he's like, I really like it. It makes sense. I'm like, no, it, it doesn't, doesn't make sense. sense. <laughs> out of pocket. Yeah, then then they'll go like, it's an industry term. And you're like, no, it, no, that, it's everybody not. in your industry is stupid. <laughs> right, your industry sucks. It sucks. If you're trying to get a hold of me, I'll be out of pocket this weekend. <laughs> <laughs> oh you know, people God. are like, ooh. <laughs> uh, oh. Well, I guess I can't call you if you're out of pocket. That means, I'll that start, must mean you're. I need to start using that. Whatever I put my, I go, oh, you know what? There, I don't reach you. Here's I can't the, find you. Here's Where the thing. are you? Uh, not in my out pocket. Of, not in my pocket. I, I've, I did, I've got the auto, uh, out of office response email, you know? Yeah. And I'm going on vacation soon, and I'm going to use oh, that out of should. pocket. I'm going to use totally that out of should. pocket. Can you also somehow fit in the word damn natural? Yeah, but remind me because okay. I will never remember what. Okay, all right. Cheers. Um, oh, so some of sorry. Us can't we're doing. Wait. Some of us can't wait. <laughs> we're doing a branded cherry here. Some of the cherry okay. popping down. No, Are you sure? I'm positive. Oh man. Nine hundred and ten percent. What if I gave you ten dollars? <laughs> it's like no twenty dollars. <laughs> Why are you gonna thirty dollars? Eat it. I mean, if you're gonna pay me to eat a cherry, because <laughs> I want to see your face when you eat the cherry. Corey's, all right, fine. Corey, it's priceless. No, Corey's I'm just like, kidding. I wouldn't. 
another tier of <laughs> well vodka that can buy. <laughs> $30, come on. I said okay, and he's like, I'm just kidding. Woo. I really don't want one. They're moving. It's like the five, fifth second. They're good. They are good, but, but it hits, they're like, oh, there it is. The brandy almost gives them like a chocolate undertone. I wouldn't call it a chocolate Ooh, uh, undertone. Yeah, more of a brandy undertone. Yeah, yeah. might be reaching on the chocolate. I feel like uh, you're wanting it to be chocolate instead of brandy, which it is. In my mind, it's chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> Next time, chocolate vodka. Yeah. So Todd, the brandy cherries are good. Todd and I laughed about uh, about that for, for weeks, and then uh, said gentleman actually did get fired. <laughs> for using those phrases? Just for being a general fuck-up and oh, okay. not understanding the technology. <laughs> and probably not doing the number. He, I think he had numbers attached to his performance that he wasn't. So there's that. That'll do it. Yeah, that'll do it. What was that episode of Friends where it was they can never figure out what Chandler did? And he said he's like Chandler, he's like Chandler, Chandler Bong. Yeah, <laughs> yes. he's like, it's like I'm looking at the weenus and it yeah. doesn't look good this week. And she's like, the what? The weekly estimated. <laughs> 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 he's like the weenus. <laughs> oh my god, we used to watch that every week. Every week. Fail. It was back when it was that, and then Seinfeld followed that. So it was like oh, everybody at home, like Thursday night, hey, what are you doing on Thursday night? Uh, I'm busy. <laughs> we're at home, we're watching Friends, Seinfeld. There was something else. I don't know if it was Mad About You. Frasier. Might have been Frasier. It was, it was literally like appointment television. Like everybody stayed home on Thursday night to watch that shit. I mean, just think about the TV. Cheers, Friends, yes. Seinfeld. Mash. Oh my God. See, I never, I was, I was too young. But have you ever watched the show? No, because the song was my bedtime. Oh, <laughs> the, the mental scar. Suicide is painless was your bedtime song. Your bedtime song was Suicide is Painless. But, but you know what's funny is I distinctly remember MASH and Three's Company songs were... <laughs> two, were two, you could not have two more dissimilar songs. Were, were bedtime. That was bedtime. So yeah. I don't know when they came on. I was too young. Was it, what, 8 o'clock or something? It's probably 9. I say, yeah, probably 9. Yeah. Come and knock on the door. <laughs> you know, so it's well, like, okay, time to go to bed. That guy was fucking everybody. Who? Freeze Company. Uh, Jack, Jack Tripper. Right up there. So, <laughs> no. I'm not sure. So you haven't seen the show. That looks nothing Jack like Jack Tripper. <laughs> well, maybe Bob Saget. I, I'd give you Bob Saget. <laughs> <laughs> I can see, yeah, I can see that Sagan. one. Yeah, much more than Jack Tripper. Uh, oh, Corey's, Corey said that was what? his bedtime song, too. Or Tony says it's a bedtime song, too. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> you fucking Gonna start youngsters. mixing our names up already, huh? Yeah. Corey and Tony. Uh, oh, okay. Yeah. Sometimes sometimes when I have two I picture, extremely good friends, I picture the names are changing. Laying in bed, sleeps like, huh? Corey. Uh, Tony. <laughs> Corey. No. Tony. <laughs> oh. Which one? <laughs> oh, man. Hey, uh, would you like to do another episode of What's Up, Bob Shire? Sure. Can we get some theme music, sir? Boom, ba-doom, ba-doom, ba-doom. The What's Up, Bob Show. Yeah. I thought there was something in there. I think I wanted to look at the camera. Oh, I'm sure there probably was. I feel like there should be. Is there any way we can get a battery? For you could situations pull like it off of the I know. <laughs> <laughs> you could, you could, I can't you remind you should actually invest like in a five hundred dollar mic I just mean, for this segment. <laughs> they had them in the eighties. So. <laughs> you could just take the whole box if you were really curious. Mm. I can't tell if this is something. I mean, this is an empty box. I, I can't. If this is more art, dude. Seriously. No, I, I think we've kind of got through all that. <laughs> I think. There's other shelves as well. There are. Turn it doesn't want to open like an envelope. All right. Ooh. Oh. A this is great because I literally have no idea what's in there. A dusty, I think your kids' baby books are in there. A dusty are there really? I'm pretty sure. No, they're, those are my baby pictures. They're not your children? No. Why would no? Those are up in my. Why would I keep my children's? I have mine. No, those are those are in a place of prominence, actually, in my bedroom closet, not oh, in the okay. basement. Well, That's where I keep my shit. <laughs> I don't know. Bill says trivia. Your what children. was? "Quote unquote painless specialty in the mash movie." And what kind of doctor was he? Oh. What is it? What do you got? 
Um, this is a writing assignment? It is. There's a couple. What is it? This one is called White Male Supremacy in the Battle Royale episode. Uh, oh, uh, thanks, Todd. Uh, um, okay. Um, in the what? Cut. Battle cut. Royale episode of Ralph Elston's Invisible Man. Oh, okay. So It's a very Man long a, paper. It's not that long. It is. One-sided. Double-spaced. It's eight pages. <laughs> eight pages. That's nothing. Yeah. I do that in my sleep. Oh, you got it. Mm. What do you get? A D plus. You were three class days late, so it went from <laughs> that, 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 that it went from good. an A to a C minus. Yeah, that sounds right. That sounds about right. She liked it. <laughs> are, are Not enough to give me a. These are college papers. Yeah, there's comments. What what year is it? Is there a date? Ninety two. Ninety two. Yeah, that was the album. You were only writing. Oh, wait, was it this fall is, of ninety two? It says April. Oh no, that's my senior year. This is English five hundred. This is your senior thesis on crime and punishment. Oh yeah. An anatomy of a criminal. Yep, that was my senior thesis. Mm -hmm. Phil knows that one because Phil and I and Wally were up for thirty six straight hours typing these papers on nothing but Mountain Dew, on a on an old Apple IIe that I'd never used before. I was gonna say, I mean, you guys clearly had a I computer. I wrote that in a day and a half. Yeah. This eighteen page paper. Yeah, and I had to deliver it orally to uh, the entire English department. I bet you did. Yeah. I gave good oral to the brown, English department. Brown, brown. This is good beer. This is, uh, this is Founders uh, KBS Breakfast Stout. Oh. But it's, uh, it's, it's, it's a thick. It's, like, it's a chewy beer. It's thick. It's thick. You had two copies of your it's thesis. Thick and dark. <laughs> I'll be one to let you know that he was six in 19. Hoppy, what do you want me to do? Put you over the way and I'll spank you? I was five. So really that was it, just those yeah. two papers? Well, and then there was two copies of your thesis. Yikes. Just well, in case one got burned. I'm going to thank you for not reading those out loud to the entire world. Oh, you're welcome. Yeah. I could only half read so that, what the that, teacher's that, comments were, so I wasn't going to read them. <laughs> you know, I... That box has got a, a bunch of, uh, that bro box could probably give you like stuff for the next like six or seven podcasts. I think so. I was, There's a lot in there. I was a little yeah. taken aback, but some of us don't see the world in color, but apparently Bob writes about white supremacy, so. You read the Invisible Man? No. Okay. <laughs> All right. Um. Jesus, I have like six six things in my book now, and we're, I'm down to the last two. Can you take things like out of the attic and add it to the shelf as we're dwindling down for the last few things? If I thought we were dwindling down to the last few, I'm I saying would. like once I we would. get to that point. I mean, because <laughs> that's obviously not a right. yeah. But the, that, I'm telling you, the, that box, the there's a lot in that the box. box. That inside box, the container that box the will continue to give good content for the next six or seven episodes. Okay, cool. Six yeah. or seven. There's a lot in there. There's a lot of shit in that box. Right. I was having a hard time deciding what to pull out. Yeah, in fact, I think there's stuff in this pile that we haven't gotten to yet. I think you're correct. Um, and worst comes to worst, I think there's actually more stuff in the room behind the uh, laundry room that I could pull out there. So, yeah, I, I, I think I don't think we've got I don't think we have a, an, an end in sight to the this segment. No. I think we've got a bunch of stuff. So. All right, Smokey Joe, what do you got in your book there? What do you, uh, what's been going on in uh, Nick's world? Brandy cherries, morel mushrooms, the keepers, the rain, dogfish head 120, and we've talked about that three times now. <laughs> uh, going back about the, the Twitter, and I haven't reached out to anybody of uh, influence, any, any influencers yet in the uh, past couple I, weeks. I keep seeing different people, like, It'll be like an auto um, reply yeah. that you configure. Mm -hmm. Some of them I recognize, most of them, like, I don't know who that is. But yeah. that's good because those are people that are following us. So, the uh, last time I checked, which is right now, <laughs> 49 followers on Twitter. Not bad. Again, uh, that's, that's great for not having a Twitter account like two weeks ago. Yeah, I didn't. Most of them are podcasts, uh, sports radio. A lot of different things like that. I'd love to hear back from any of these guys that actually have podcasts that uh, that that you know they do their own podcasts if they listen to us. I'd, I'd love for them to. Uh, well, that one guy kinda... had, Remember the one guy with the uh, 
Canadian morning show or whatever he did. Uh, yes, yes, we, we did hear back from him then. Yep, so, so yeah, we're getting there. I think we're probably going to have to do our due diligence too, and, and for some of those podcasts, we're, we're, we're going to have to uh, give them a listen as well. Oh, I, absolutely, I, you know, I agree. There's, there was one podcast that followed us that I, I actually subscribed to and uh, listened to one of their episodes. Got uh, on Mixcloud. Um, we got followed on Mixcloud by a couple of different other podcasts that are going on, and I subscribe to, to both of theirs too. So, whatever we can do to uh, mix it up, and maybe you know, instead of you know, Drew, Mike, or David, check the freak uh, while you're driving around, just you know, take like one day and, and give them a listen and see what you think. I'd like to also uh, uh, make a suggestion about a topic, a, yeah. one, a once per month topic. Okay. Uh, different cigars. Mm. Where? Who's? Do you smoke cigars? Have you smoked cigars? I have. Yeah. Like, I mean. Do you like to smoke cigars? Uh, it depends on like what it. Enough to is. where she could take a puff and be like, uh, oh, yay or nay. Yeah. Okay. So I think because I think I'm out of this thing. I think it's just the three of you guys. You don't smoke I, cigars? No. What? I thought he did. No. No, I'm not a big cigar guy. No. Susan will smoke. Well, you do wine, don't you? Yeah. Okay. So Red we'll wine. Cigar slash wine. Sure. Where I was going to say, we're not turning this into a wine thing, because then I'm out. No, I'm out, too. <laughs> okay. So, so Well, it could be something to do while you guys are... Yeah, cigar, cigars. cigars and wine sure. kind of pair together. Yeah. So we'll do um, once or a month. cigars and uh, scotch. What? Yeah. 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 Pick, pick I'll, one. Yeah. Pick your whatever, which one you want. Well, I figure wine there's a lot of wine. Yeah. There's a lot of wine. Yeah. So it, it'll almost be a pick of the week, but we'll do of the month. Okay. And month. Corey and I will have, um, we'll get the same kind of cigar and we'll do it and uh, see how we like it. If, if somehow we could, since it's summertime, we could set up some things outside or something so we have the availability to. Yeah. Uh, well, we were talking to Danielle about that, about the, you know, getting together. And she's like, all right, come over to our place, whatever. Mm -hmm. And like, she's like, don't you guys ever do anything outside? I go, I live in Dearborn. If if we did it after 11 p.m., I guess we could, because then the planes would be, you know. But we, you, there's no way we could start at nine and do it in my backyard. Um, but she said, you know, her place is not, you know, <laughs> not in the path of airport traffic. So, so that could happen. So monthly segment, cigars. Wine, scotch, wine. Okay. scotch. Okay. Got it. Yeah, and I mean, even we, even if we did like a, a day that we're all off, like a five p.m. show. Yeah. We go outside, and Ooh, man. Watch the sunset, sit outside, have cigars. What's the likelihood you'd make it here in time for a five p.m. show? I'd be fine with that. He's got the day off. He'll be fine. Yeah, as long as it's a day off, then. Okay. I mean, it's once a month. I'm not sure that's the dating factor here. But. And I mean, it, to to take advantage of that would only be a couple times because of summertime. So. Yeah. Yeah, I'm I all guess, for it. I guess we should take advantage of summer. Run, I'm all for it. We could probably run a couple extension cords and. It, you know what? At well, least shit. Get one microphone we, outside or something like that. There, there is no reason why, you, whether it's my house or whether it's yours or whether it's Nick's, that we couldn't cart this. You know, dog and pony show over there and do it outside. Yeah, you know, in the in you know, on the okay, patio. I'm thinking of the night that we you just know, we just need an outlet with this one, literally one power strip. I'm thinking of the night you know we had like snifters and cigars and cigarettes and we were sitting out on your patio and it was hot. And yeah, it was a nice nice night. You know, we were just yeah. hanging out outside. There's no reason why we can't take this out there. Here, as long as it's after the plane stuff flying over, but yeah. otherwise, you know what I mean? Yeah, I, oh, I do. <laughs> Yeah, there's no reason why we can't do it outside, especially now because eventually it's going to be cold enough where we can't. Yep. So, it's, I do. Have, uh, I have outlets right out, right out by the pool too. I think they can oh, support be perfect. All shit off of Easily, they can support the generator. Okay. Could, could you? Could you imagine? It, wouldn't, it's, it would not take that much to pack up all this shit and bring it over there. But, not, there, there, but we don't necessarily. There's no reason why we have to do it in the basement. But now these, Sorry, these, studio. These are the dumbed down lights. So now that you have two lights, oh yeah, what running, do you do with that? They're running off. No, what I'm saying, they're running off battery power, so we can light the area up, 
you have the well, pool. Well, you've got a uh, very good pool. The pool's oh, lit. The pool, eight. Yeah. The pool's lit. Mm -hmm. yeah. Think of a backdrop that that would be. You know, <coughs> I mean, that would be, that'd be that'd cool. really sweet, wouldn't it? Yeah. Let's. And we're not. Uh, I mean, when we do this, we're not loud. We you know? sketch it. <laughs> okay. Are we? Yeah, a little bit. Um. What's no, we're not. Sure. So, 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 so we could we could call <laughs> we could call it a sun sh uh, sunset show. <coughs> sunset. We're episode, supposed to. You know? we're, we're doing it on the fifteenth next, right? Saturday. Yeah, I guess. Both so. you guys are off. Well, actually, next two Saturdays because you're both off next two Saturdays. So why don't we why don't we try uh, if we do it then? We do have something we have to be at on Saturday. It's at seven though. So we just do a later start, and then that way we avoid the planes. Anyway. Somebody got wet. Huh? Somebody get married again? No. Another wedding? No baseball game. Okay. I jump off a bridge right now. There's another <laughs> wedding. So you'd be done by eleven or so. Probably. Oh, before that, it's because it's at Jimmy John's. It's just a, it's a it's minor, a minor league. Yeah. So if we if we did it in your backyard, we'd yep. have to wait until after eleven anyway. Isn't eleven when the planes stop going? Uh, they're pretty much running all night. Oh, well, not as day. frequently as during the day. No, not not anywhere near as frequently, but yeah. So I, 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 have, I think I that's have great. Them at my house too. I mean, it's just, it's the same shit. And, yeah, and but, we're all because we're all in the same flight. Like right, and then right. and then the same capacity. Uh, you know, I have the outdoor heater and mm -hmm. the fire and stuff like that. So towards fall, we could go to my house. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? Let's do it. Yeah, and we'll, and we'll do. I mean, do you guys want to plan like next Saturday? We'll do exactly that. I mean, weather, 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 we'll weather we'll package all this stuff. Yeah, yeah. Weather yeah. Weather yeah. While I'm raining, night like tonight, we'll we'll go over your backyard if your mind's clear. No, that should be fine. All right, Let's we got enough. It. We got enough light for it now too. It's all battery operated. <laughs> I mean, I mean yeah. in all honesty, right. you know what I mean? Hey, I'm happy with that light, so. so. So am I, but I'm saying, like, but it's having both, both of them. Both, both of them. You've, you've been searing into it directly for the last hour. No, but, I mean, for, for uh, like, going out, like, into the field kind of situation, that'll be perfect. Right. You know what I mean? I mean, those are, like, you know, the we're working all night on 94 lights. That's like, exactly, why are we going like to work in the Boston field? Big Dig light. That's what that is. When we, when we this it doesn't matter when we're inside you know it's 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 a plus absolutely but we have other lights we can turn on yeah. but if we're out by the pool and it's completely pitch black then this is really gonna help can i bring this yes obviously i encourage you <laughs> to be there we can't have a podcast I, without the light i think i might have to uh i might have to bring the phillips hue bridge though it doesn't directly connect to the wi-fi it connects to the hue bridge if anything, it'll be good practice for us because so, we should be. Ha this should be a mobile thing that we yeah, can. Yes, so I don't think I can bring this. So what's it plugged into right now? Though? Well, it's wireless. It doesn't have to be plugged into anything. It's on the it's on the bridge, so it's it's a wireless. But it's connecting to the internet through to, to my internet here. The, the, the Couldn't Wi-Fi it through connect the bridge. to the Wi-Fi at his house? Not without the bridge. Oh. Like the kitchen lights, the living room lights, they're all connected. They're all hue lights. They all connect. They they require the bridge. Gotcha. Yeah. There's other stuff like I don't know what bulbs you have. Do you have like Zigbee bulbs or what do you have in your house? I don't know what that like? is. Why are you looking at me like I know? No, the, the, it's the, the, the brand name of like uh, yeah, the bulb, Wi-Fi the, connected bulbs. No, the bulbs I have, yeah, are Wi-Fi bulbs. Are, and, are they connect directly to the Wi-Fi or do they require a bridge like the? Because Philips Philips requires the bridge. No, I don't have a bridge for mine. Yeah, yeah, this is. But they're like bulbs, that. so you, where are you screwing it into? You know. I mean what? <laughs> it's a, it's a, this is not a bulb. This is something. This is you can walk around. He wants to know well, where you're screwing it into. But it's powered by yeah. It's a, it's powered by a re rechargeable source. Right. It's probably LEDs. Like they're probably light. Right. But diodes, it's connected it's to the, to my Wi-Fi through the bridge. I understand it. Yeah, but what I'm saying is, this is a physical bulb that I have to screw into a socket. Yeah. So, if there's a socket like out by the palm tree by Corey's pool, then yeah, we can make it work without a bridge. Okay. <laughs> I don't think there is. No socket out there. Is your, is your bulb able to change to like uh, uh, six five million colors? Yeah, I think. Age? Yeah, I think it's like perfect. Two that's, million colors. That's all we need. Yeah, for sure. I and mean, then you can make it match your shirt, which At, is all we're really trying to the, do. The funny thing is, is is actually the 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 JBL Pulse Three uh, has has the has the camera on the side where you can put oh up, no put up to anything. It'll match that color. And that's Bluetooth. But we were talking about the speaker that we're going to get. <laughs> Jesus. Are we actually talking about that? Well, Corey actually said last time, and it 
might have been uh, to do it. Might have been under the influence of. I mean, I could. Totally that, I where you live, I definitely could see you using it. Of course, because I was like, I was like, dude, I was like, dude, I got my house and all this stuff. I'm like, I'm not, I'm not spending you know two hundred dollars on this on this speaker. He's like, I'll buy the speaker. You can just keep it at your house. I'm like, oh, okay. <laughs> no, you have like four. You should keep it at his house. But we're always at my house. He he's also at his house. He's got a pool. He's probably there more Never. than your house. Your problem, <laughs> fault really. But we're, what we're talking about is like you know for the Schnozcast events, or when you guys yeah. all come back to my house after raise or something like that, we're 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 actively using it like all the time. Yeah, but a, a speaker like that at, at like three thirty in the morning—that's no one's ever gonna. My open for whatever okay reason with you doing that. My house. I don't know if it's because it's made of brick. I don't know either, but or what it is. But you, I've I've you, turned that sound bar in the basement. Yeah. all the way up many many times and you go outside and it's like <laughs> like you can't hear it at all wow. so in the house I'm not worried outside on the yeah. that's a different story for the initial what we thought oh, 75 people crab boil in Nick's house <laughs> no that, that wouldn't have been good I disagree but <laughs> <laughs> alright you guys are going to run the ship for a bit because I'm going to Oh, what, are we, what are we at right now? We're at uh, 140. All right, well we can take a uh, take a break. You you're gonna stop, dude. I don't I don't want to make yeah, I don't no, mean to make a stop doing the no, dude. Wait, because, because what? Your habits. Getting to getting around the two hour mark on a on the live stream and, and then trying to edit the video. Okay. And post it. It's uh. One 140 is more than enough. That's fine. Yeah, we right, typically well, stop uh, before then. Let's uh, stop the Facebook Live now, and then we'll uh, take a break and then resume with uh, our audio-only uh, last hour. Sounds like a plan. Beautiful, sir. Real quick, real yeah. quick. Um, before we go, for folks that are just watching us on live, yeah. if they want to work out, mm -hmm. cut the grass. Um, yeah, tomorrow, their, Saturday. On their way to work. Get your ass off the couch. On their way to work, mm -hmm. um, where can people listen to the high-quality version? Well, uh... Not necessarily this episode just yet, but... Any of the episodes uh, from last one all the way back to the beginning, go to iTunes. Go, and if you got an app, iPhone, go to your podcast app. Search for Schnozcast, S-C-H-N-O-Z-E-C-A-S-T. -E it comes right up. Yep. Or if you want an app that does it and you don't like the podcast app, get the, get the Podbean app. Hey, if you got an Android phone, fuck those Apple phone users. Go to the Google Play Music Store. Search for Schnozcast. Go to Mixcloud, search for Schnozcast. Go to Stitcher, radio. Go to Spotify. Everybody's got Spotify. We're on Spotify. Bitch, we're on Spotify. <laughs> it's, it's actually, uh, you know, and, and like I said before, you know, it's when, when we're doing it all the time, people are like, oh, you know, you know, you know, you can't trust a chef that doesn't lick his own fingers, you know. And you, we, do you listen to your own show? Do you listen to your own show? I'm like, yeah. no, I, I'm here. Right. I'm, we're here right. talking about I don't want to hear myself, yeah. you know. But... But I have a couple times we come home from the yep. bar or whatever it may be, and we turn on, and it's so, it's crystal clear. It's it's just a different experience. Yeah, yeah, uh, and that's you know, it, it's a summertime. Look, you, you do, <laughs> it's a summertime. It's summertime. You, you, you're gonna want to put on a bathing suit, but you're not in the shape to put on a bathing suit. You have to go to the gym, <laughs> and while you're at the gym, put it in your ears. You're on the treadmill, listen to the shots. What are you waiting for? Get your body in that shape so you can put on that two piece. And Come on now. You know what? <laughs> <laughs> Bob and I are trying to eat salads, man. Yeah. We're trying. See? Yeah. We're trying. But if, if us two fat slobs can do it. Honestly. What's what's your excuse? But here's the thing. You know, it doesn't have to end here. You may not get this uh content for the next couple of days. But you know what? We we don't we don't hours. we don't necessarily do anything that's spe specifically ties to this day. You know, right. so go back. Listen to some episodes that we've done in the past, and you can be with us and hang out with us, and we can yeah. be with you. And uh, if you're working a double, or if <laughs> if you're cutting the grass, or if if you're doing a workout or on your way to work, it, it helps pass the time. So hang out with us. Absolutely. And hey, look if you were wa if you watched us last week and you watch a Facebook Live, did you know that we recorded over an hour of extra stuff after we stopped the Facebook Live? You can listen to that today. That's episode 23. It's available right now. Go to iTunes. Spotify, Stitcher, Mixcloud. Download it. Listen to us. And tell us what you think. 
We got a Gmail address, schnozcast at gmail.com, S-C-H-N-O-Z-Z cast at gmail.com. Tell us what you think. Ask us your questions. We'll read it on, on air. We don't care. We, we, we welcome it. So get involved, and we can't wait to hear from you. For those of you who have stuck around and want to know what's going on, wait a couple days, and 24, episode 24. Episode 24. Uh, it'll be up online uh, before Monday morning. Ready for your ride into work. And we'll be coming to you live, poolside, weather permitting, next week. <laughs> next Saturday. Next, next week. Yep, that's the plan. But we're, we're still going on for a little while, so hopefully we'll see you on your favorite app. Yep. Thank you, everybody. Good night. Good night. Good night. Bye. Bye.